primary uh, focus right now is to ensure that no child faces any form of exploitation. So where you see a child being exploited, that's where we need to be. And not only us, but even you as individuals, keep an eye out for any child that is being exploited and raise your voice if you see something like that. Yeah, community action to end uh, modern slavery and uh, child trafficking is one of those projects that speaks to the kind of world that we would like to see, the kind of world that we would like to bequeath uh, to our children. Uh, and we realize that this world, we cannot create it alone uh, as, as TDH. We need to work uh, with various stakeholders and that is the basis uh, for, for, for the community action to actually end modern slavery and child trafficking. More and more people are speaking about uh, the problem of child trafficking. More and more people are aware about it. We have been able to actually make interceptions of children that are actually being trafficked. We have also been able to rescue some of them. One of the most famous uh, rescues we have done has actually been uh, across the border from Nairobi. Life in Karamoja can be unpredictable. From the harsh weather conditions uh, to um, intermittent insecurity uh, to root, uh, ha hunger and famine, all these, uh, when you, you, you think you've created some level of uh, stability within homes, within communities, when you think the conversations are going well, uh, then the trajectory completely changes. This project was uh, a bit slowed down uh, by COVID, uh, the lockdowns, uh, but we want to appreciate the resilience of our teams, the resilience of our partners, uh, dwelling places, and, and, and our supportive teams. Because despite the lockdowns and uh, the disruptions that happen, we've still been able to see uh, the kind of results that we dreamed of when we were thinking about this project. Child trafficking is actually one of those lucrative businesses internationally. And so when you cross off one gap, uh, when you cross off one route, uh, another route is created. So as you think, as you act, as the various stakeholders uh, tighten the news uh, against it, uh, they are also being creative. Uh, and with modern communication, uh, mobile phones, uh, with many uh, people in Karamoja moving by foot, rather than by any other means of transport, uh, it's really been a challenge, uh, policing and uh, being able to, to intercept uh, the, the, the various uh, victims that, that end up being trafficked. These children that we see growing up in circumstances that are less than desirable, actually grow up if they survive, that is. They actually grow up to become um, less than they could possibly have been. Be it in academics, be it in their social um, abilities, be it in leadership, absolutely get affected and that damage is permanent. So whatever you can do as an individual, as an institution, as a, a a religious leader, as a, a government leader, as a politician, to make the lives of these children better, to make it uh, exploitation free, to make it uh, safe, to facilitate them to realize their potential, to have a life good enough for them to develop the talents that each one of us has. Please make sure you do that and you'll have made a good contribution that you could possibly make of humanity.